Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm back. In spurts, but I'm back. You know, we all back. Just, uh, taking it easy. I know I'm late with this video. <clears throat> because it was like, well, I'm trying to do certain things with my channel, so I don't know if I wanted to talk about uh, music. I barely talk about music on this channel, although I'm really into music a lot. A lot of hip hop music. Um, it, it'll barely be on here. I think the, the last music thing I did on here was talk about the Gorillas, and I like that album. So I'm just, uh, yeah, this is this will be a rare thing that you'll see on this channel. So uh, I know a lot of people talked about this already. They got out the way. Um, they got their views out the way. Eminem pretty much dissed everybody that, that made a reaction video and stuff like that to his uh, his album. So, what am I talking about? If you saw the description, you'll know exactly what this video is about. So, what I'm talking about is, well, I can't say new, because I'm just kind of a couple months old now, so... Well, or a little over a month old, but um, talking about the latest uh, Eminem album revival, how I felt about it, how it made me feel. Um, again, I should have put a video out about this a long time ago because I actually heard that when it first came out, uh, just to see what I think about it. I actually went back and listened to to Encore too to make a comparison because a lot of people, a lot of people have come out and said. Encore is Eminem's worst album. Like, everywhere I go, they're like, Encore is terrible. And I've even ran into people who said this album is way better than Encore. Um, which, do I agree with that? Do I disagree with that? Let's find out. So, let's kind of get into some stuff here. Um, so, I might have to pull out the, the trusty phone with the list on it to kind of go down through the songs because I actually just uh, re listened to this recently just so I could make this video because I love y'all so much. So let's kind of go down the line here. So the first, uh, first track I got here is right. Which I thought was a weird track placement uh, when I heard that heard this song initially, but of course everybody knows the first song is "Walk on Water," featuring Beyonce. Um, I gotta be honest, man. I was not confident going into this album. I now just to give you a little bit of history. I used to be a huge huge Eminem fan like when I started doing like listen to hip hop and I heard about Eminem uh, I sought out all his mixtapes all the freestyle sessions he did this is when I was back in high school when Eminem first dropped my mom actually would not let me listen to Eminem uh, when I was a kid so I snuck over to like friends houses and heard like his albums and stuff like that and I was just I was a fascinated yeah, he had a lot of shocking content and stuff like that, but I was just fascinated by how how well he rapped. Like, like I was like, man, this this dude can really spit. And I remember he used to get he used to get a lot of crap back then because he was you know he was the only, he was like the biggest white boy in rap at the time. Like, but people feared him. Like, people would not battle him. People would not dare to diss this dude. They tried and they failed ultimately. I mean, Eminem would, like, sin your life and rip you to shreds. I'm sorry, I'm a little sick right now, so I kind of got a little sniffles, but... But... So, anyway... Um, I, like I said, I've heard it ciphers, the freestyles he did, the, the gun in your girl freestyle with Royce the 5'9", uh, the Hellbound, uh... You can look these up on YouTube, too. Like, all these are up on YouTube. My eye keeps watering. But you can look these all up on YouTube. You got Hellbound uh, that he did with Master Ace. I can't remember the name of the other guy. That was a nice little posse cut. And then uh, he just had like 
uh, I, I actually recorded the eight mile freestyles on uh, the battles on a CD, and I would just listen to those freestyles because I was like, this dude's amazing. So for a while, this dude was a really untouchable MC. And then we get to the latter half of his career, which this is where I kind of fell out of Eminem because rather rather than still continue to do amazing hip hop tracks, put out albums like the Slim Shady LP, the Marshall Mathers LP, and and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, well, he's not that anymore. That's why in the latter part of his career, he started doing pop albums. And, and what I gotta say is this about that, man. Like, I feel like if you're trying to make a, uh, like, if you're trying to keep your, your name in, like, the legacy of, like, hip-hop and stuff like that, you would try your best to, to continuously make good music, um, continuously, you know, continuously set out to do the stuff that you initially said you're going to do. I understand you're not the same person, you know, 20, 30 years later. I get that. But, you know, Eminem is a 40-year-old man. So, my thing is this, like, you know, why doesn't Eminem uh, go back to what made him incredible? It's like, I don't understand it at all. Um, I mean, all these pop albums, uh, these, these chicks singing these sweet sugary hooks, you know, on, on a lot of songs that he does, and it's a lot of them, um, like I said, I heard Encore, and yeah, there was some really bad songs on that album, like, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with you on that, um, for a while, that was probably his worst album, because there was just some songs on there where you were like, why would he put this on here? And then I heard a little bit of relapse too, and I'm just like, yeah, I can't deal with these accents. Um, you know, he was rapping over the, the, the I guess they say the Jafakin accents. So, <laughs> the Jafakin accents. But, he, uh, yeah, man, I, I just, I could not get with Pop Eminem. Like, Eminem doing songs with, with Skylar Gray and Rihanna and Jessica Simpson of all people. Jessica Simpson. This man made fun of Jessica Simpson. And that's the thing that kills me too. Because like Eminem, the, the old Eminem would have made fun of the new Eminem. And that's the sad thing. And I know a lot of people have heard that before. But it's a really true statement. Because Eminem, it's sad because Eminem has become the very same thing that he used to always make fun of. You know, like, he worried me about this revival album. I'm going to get it to that in a minute. I know I'm I'm just giving you a little backstory, but, I mean, the thing is, is, like, up into that shaky-ass freestyle that he did about Donald Trump, it was just like, it was like, I really hope we don't get this Eminem on this new album. And I will say, man, like, sadly, we did. I mean, <laughs> we, we got that. We got that shaky Eminem on this uh, this this album here. Man, I I'm baffled as to how it even qualifies as an Eminem project. Like I don't get it. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. When I first heard the album, I was like, like I was just kind of going through, just listening. Like I don't understand it. Like. Is this an Eminem album? Is this for real? Like, this feel like this feel like low budget discount Eminem, man. Where, where is like, where is the man that could spit and put like multiple syllabics together, man? Like, and before y'all can comment again, yes, I did hear the Core Septic remix too, so I'll, I'll talk about that as well. This might be a little lengthy video, but I just want to. I don't know why my eyes keep water. I think it's this sinus thing that's going on. But let's kind of go down the list here because, yeah, again, it likes to start out walking water. Now, I heard the single to this and I didn't like the single. So I already knew when the, the album came out, I wasn't going to like it. Uh, believe? No. 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 
Eminem rapping like a trap rapper, like, come on, man, like, you, you've got to be kidding me, like, I heard this, and I just stared, like, I was in my car, now, I have a, I have a 2018 Honda Elantra, so I could, like, sync up my music to, to the car, and to through a Bluetooth connection, I stared at my screen for, like, a good five minutes, like, this does not sound like Eminem. I was like, this can't be Eminem, like, he had, like, this really weird, like, broken up flow, and it just wasn't flowing, and it sounded really, like, cringeworthy, and it sounded really bad, and I'm like, I'm like, ooh, I, I really am not getting good vibe from this album, um, I probably won't even go through this list by list, man. I'm just gonna <laughs> just just know that I, I think about maybe 90. I want to say 95 percent of this album is really bad, and that's saying something. I don't think I've ever listened to an album that bad in my entire life. And then what makes me even more sad is it's Eminem that put this out, man. I expected like somebody like Lil Yachty or the Migos um, or, or whoever to put an album like that. And then after hearing some of their songs and listening to songs on this, I I'm not a fan of those dudes, and I'd rather listen to that than this. To go back to this album, I, I struggled getting through it the first time, and struggled even more getting through it the second time, knowing how bad it was. But yeah, revival interlude, which should have been at the beginning, like the the album placement or the song placement of this album is so weird, like it's it's bizarre. It's, I don't understand, like what he was thinking when he was putting this together. A lot of these songs sound mixed really poorly. It's like, man, did you even care? Like, because like, the thing is, the dude hasn't released an album uh, uh, in years. He puts this out. Um, Core Sept It With Fresher, which I did not like this song. And then, like, you got Fresher, the only, the only rap feature on here, and he only gets a uh, uh, he gets he gets a chorus verse and after that you don't hear from that dude ever again. <laughs> he doesn't get a verse, nothing. Like he just he he does the hook and that's it. Chorus septic. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just like, what is going on right now? Because <laughs> this ain't an Eminem album. Like, what is going on? Oh man, yeah. Actually, yeah. Let me talk about Untouchable. That was the other single that was on here. This song was just this song. This song shouldn't have been called Untouchable. This song, this song should be, bleh, this song should have been called Poor Decisions 101. Like seriously, okay. And let me tell you what I mean by Poor Decisions 101. First of all, Eminem. Okay, so the song is about Eminem rapping from two perspectives. It's a white dude and how he's privileged and everything. That's why he's saying. Really corny, really corny, like in the, the hook. Wait, boy, wait, boy, you're a rock star. I'm like, oh, jeez, here we go, man, here we go, corniness. And then he's rapping from the, so he raps from the perspective of the privileged white dude in the first verse, and then in the second verse, he raps from the perspective of the 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 stereotypical black dude in the hood, basically. My thing is, okay, so you got Fresher on here. Why do you have Fresher just do the black dude's verse and then you do the white dude's verse? I'm just saying, like, that would just, that, I think that would have at least went together a little bit better. I think the song would have been a little bit better if that were the case instead of Eminem doing both verses and doing that, doing that whack-ass hook. White boy, white boy, like, so stupid. Like, I, I just didn't understand it. It was just, that's what I'm saying. That song was just full of bad decisions. Uh, so, and then we got, uh, see, River. Did not like this song at all. Ed Sheeran, I don't even know who that is. Uh, let's see here. Remind me, I, yeah, man, I, like, this, the album, look, let me tell y'all like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty
10, 11. You mean to tell me by the time I get to track 12 on this, on this 19 track album, yeah, yeah, 19 track album, by the time I get to track 12, that's when I actually get to a decently good song. Framed. Framed is really good. Like, I, I will go back and listen to this every now and then. I do like the song Frame. My problem with that song, and it's like, every time, it's like, every time, uh, you know, this, this album gets like 10 steps ahead and knocks itself 5 steps back, man. Like, like, Frame does a good song, nice beat. It does actually sound like old school Eminem, you know, he's, he's rapping about being a serial killer and sneaking in on his girl uh, uh, while, she's, while she's not dressed or whatever, and he, he comes in, he's supposed to be the cable man, but he comes in and he like kills her and he's got body parts littered everywhere. I thought that was a cool concept until he gets to that damn hook, man. The hook. Oh my god, that hook. I was framed. I'm like, are you serious? Like, are you like, are you like punking everybody right now? Like, come on, man. Like, this is crazy. Like, I'm just like, wow, man. Like, no. And then this shit doesn't get good again until. Uh, man, like the rest is still bad. Uh, and then, you know, and then another point that I make about bad decisions on this album is that it's Need Me with Pink. So, yeah, I'm listening to the song, and then I'm sitting in my car, and I'm listening to, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to look around and make sure nobody looks at me like, what is this dude listening to? So I'm just sitting here just listening to it. Pink is singing for like for like eighty percent of the song, so I'm sitting here like, okay, where's where's Eminem at? And then Eminem raps in the end, and I'm just kind of like, wow. So it's like a Pink song featuring you. This supposed to be your album. Oh man, I yeah, this album is terrible, terrible. I think the only two songs I even liked on here, two songs out of a nineteen track album. Two songs, Eminem. Two songs. And I don't care if you make a chloroseptic part three featuring Rob this. I do not care at this point. You, you gave me, out of a 19-track album, you mean to tell me you gave me two songs? On this bullshit, two songs. You got to be kidding me. Are you supposed to be the greatest rapper alive and you only gave me two tracks on this brand new album. You gave me Framed and you gave me Castle. I actually like Castle. I thought Castle Castle reminded me of like uh like Mockingbird on uh on uh on a uh, uh Encore. Damn, Encore. Yeah, it might be a Mockingbird on Encore or uh or Haley's song on uh what was the album? Was it the Eminem show? The one where he sang he, he sung a song to Haley, and I actually liked that song too. Like I liked the beat, even when he sung to it. I was like, I was like, you know what? I don't even mind him singing because it's actually a good song. But man, I don't know what this is. This don't sound like an Eminem album at all. Like I mean, y'all gonna say those who are saying Encore is still revivals better than Encore. I completely disagree with you. I think I think Encore was even better than this album because at least like I did like half of that album. A lot of that album was bad, but I did at least like half of it. And I haven't heard Eminem in like I haven't listened to Eminem in years. I finally went back and listened to Encore, and I was like, you know what? It's not as bad as this album. Like this album is Encore's got some really really bad moments, but. It, it did sound like a, at the end of the day, it still sounded like an Eminem album. It sounded like something that Eminem would still put out, even though it was bad. This, I don't know what this is. Eminem with that broken up flow where he starts rapping for a minute, and he breaks up his flow, and then he raps, and he stops, and he raps, and then he stops. It's like, that's what Eminem was known for, was his flow. 
like the flow was amazing. Like why why would you mess that up throughout damn near an entire album? Like through the entire album he raps like that. That that whole broken up flow, he does that a lot. Even those songs where he tries to rap like a trap rapper. I mean, I I don't know, man. Like even in Believe, Believe was a perfect example of that because it had that trap beat, and the Eminem was trying to rap, but in that broken up trap way. And I'm just like, that's not you though, man. You're not a trap rapper. You're Eminem. So I want to hear I want to hear Eminem spit and Eminem staccato, not broken up Migos. Uh, Fetty Wap, whatever trap rapper is hot right now, you know staccato flow. I want to hear you just rap like that. That's why I listen to uh, Eminem Project. Period. That's why I listen to Eminem song. Now I'm done talking dissonance. And if y'all didn't catch it already, I, I hate this fucking album. I throw my cell phone on it. I fucking hate this album. But now on a positive note. Let's talk about the Chloroseptic remix, because I know, like, a lot of people in this comment section are going to be like, well, did you hear the Chloroseptic remix? Why don't you sit back, relax, and listen to the rest of this review, or the rest of this video? Because I gotta say, the Chloroseptic remix is a big improvement. I just feel like, I feel like the, the thing with the Chloroseptic remix is it just made me realize how much worse Revival actually is because I'm just like wow this is actually a, a pretty good song I don't I don't I've never heard a fresher other than this album um I don't really like 2 Chains at all let's get that out the way I do not like 2 Chains but they all fit in this song together I listen to, I've listened to the song a few times already I think they all fit in this song I like Two Chains, and he sounds he sounds amazing on the song. Fresher sounds pretty good on the song, and Eminem just dominated. You know, like that was the thing is the person that's going to dominate the track. You always put them last because you're going. If you hear the person who dominates the track first, that's how it was back then for you for you new school kids. But if somebody dominated the track, the most dominant rapper on the track would always go last. It would never go first because you because then if you hear their first it was like well there's no point in hearing the other people on this track because I heard the best verse of the song so or at least that's how I was too I was like I really don't want to hear nobody else this is the best rapper on the track why would I want to hear any why would I hear anyone else lower so it's best to put the lower lyricist up front and then put the really best rapper in the back and, and let him shine I thought this out this song was made beautifully kind of wish Revival was like this. I kind of wish Revival sounded like that Chloroseptic remix. I don't understand it. I would have liked Revival way better if it sounded like this. Like, seriously, man. Eminem murdered that. 2 Chainz murdered it. I thought Fresh had murdered it. I thought Eminem murdered it. And it was placed perfectly. It sounded amazing. I, I don't understand it. This almost makes me feel like Eminem, when Eminem got criticized, that's when he decided, alright, I'm going to just blow everybody away. And uh, he he also makes takes a shot at people who reacted to the, the track list and everything, and they didn't like the, they pretty much didn't like the song before the track list. Or they didn't like the album. They just based the they they based their opinion on the track list, and I've got something to say about that too. So if the I understand I understand that statement to a point. The thing is though is the album was still bad though, so I don't understand why you're getting upset now that oh well they saw the track list and they thought it was bad before they even heard my album and it's like okay well your album wasn't good so the people who judged your track list before they heard the album they were right they they weren't lying this album is terrible like like this is bad and then I just feel like the people who are going to defend it I feel like you're going to just you're going to buy into whatever Eminem gives you because he's Eminem not because he's giving you quality uh, material anymore. Not because he's giving you a quality product. 
you're just going to buy his stuff because, well, he's Eminem, and I think he's the greatest rapper in the world. So, that's my opinion. That's my rant. I went up for 25 minutes. I'm going to drop out this race now. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. Peace, and I'll see y'all later.